the dude had no idea. And then he tried to blame anything we asked about on other people, which was weird. You know that was wrong. You know. And my drink was 100% wrong. Her drink, I don't know, never seen rum the color of bourbon, but that's good. <laughs> um, like, and then the food, it took like an hour. Welcome, Walt Disney World fans, to another episode of the Notcast, presented by NotClub33.com. We're following up with our last episode, and this time we're doing overrated table service restaurants at Walt Disney World. My name is Steve Rhodes. Today with me is Becky Wells. Hi. Pat Neistat is here. What's up? And the man drooped over in the title is hat. That's Bobby Burchins if he wakes up. What? 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 <laughs> ah! cool. oh. the, the jump scare wake this week from Bobby. <laughs> Bobby, you don't have to go first, so you can go back to sleep if you want. But uh, we're going to talk oh, overrated, ta- been, overrated table it's service. It's been a long break, guys. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Sure. Sure. Uh, <laughs> Becky, ladies first this week. Overrated That's table great. service at Walt Disney World. Let us know your thoughts on the subject. I was very sad to have some place I really wanted to eat at be overrated and a really crap experience uh, food and service wise. And um, it was Steakhouse 71. Bummed. The company I, was not ahead. the the overrated portion I would, uh, <laughs> I would hope not <laughs> it was um but the food like the the drinks come on you saw that crap they brought amanda and they had a fucking cherry like it was not it was that two minutes oh i'm sorry you're good um, <laughs> it look her drink you know that was wrong you know and my drink was a hundred percent wrong. Her drink, I don't know, never seen rum the color of bourbon, but that's good. Um, like, and then the food, it took like an hour for everything for no reason. The service, the dude had no idea. And then he tried to blame anything we asked about on other people, which was weird. Hmm. It was not, it was not ideal. The food was not what i was hoping for they totally failed steakhouse 55's legacy from disneyland it yeah i've heard it's gotten better i should try it again i i i I would say that i was there that evening and i agree that (laughs) that particular evening yes it was not the 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 service level that people were were kind of hoping for and expecting right Mm -hmm. i've since eaten there and and i've I've had actually my birthday over over there before and it's gotten better. The food is, is still okay. You, it's about expectations, right? So the expectation of, of it was very high because steakhouse 55 out in Disneyland was one of the top end right. restaurants out, out there. But at the contemporary it's you, you're, you have to bump up against California <laughs> grill. And sure. what, uh, what a sig you, by the way, because I'm going to go ahead and sig you. But also it beats Chef Mickey's, though. Yeah, well, st- yeah. allow you me to use my sig This whole episode. Right, right, right. So. <laughs> I, I, allow me to take my sig you okay. and go ahead and say California Grilla is the most overrated the restaurant on property. And, and yeah. the reason why I say that is because, man, everybody hypes this place up every time they 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 set this unrealistic expectation almost in your mind uh, for you when you're walking in uh, to it that you're going to have the best meal that you you've ever had and it's good but it how do you meet like such high expectations and then you get the bill and you're like holy shit this was three hundred dollars without breaking a sweat because i had two drinks like don't <laughs> get me wrong it's it's good food but i i don't know that it's ever been like what I paid for good. And that that's the reason why I have to put it in that most overrated category. I, I would, I would say that California grill is my most overrated restaurant. Gotcha. So I disagree with Bobby and agree with Becky. My steakhouse oh. 71 meal. I had, to, I got the, uh, the uh, prime rib and it came mm-hmm. with some like oh, that's where you potatoes. Went 
the pri- well, they don't have a ribeye. You can't even get a ribeye there. Um, no, but, you got to uh, go with either the New York strip or or the filet mignon. If you're going, it was no that. bowling alley steak, but right. it's not. It's not. <laughs> That's an inside <laughs> I would joke, take the folks. bowling alley steak over yeah. steak house seventy one any day. <laughs> but really, I was really disappointed in Steakhouse Seventy One that the the uh, yeah. the uh, prime rib wasn't very good. The potatoes weren't very good. I don't know. And my experience at California Grill, anywhere you go, a Walt Disney World at Walt Disney World or any vacation spot, the food is going to be expensive. And this is a fine dining place, so I kind of expect it. That's why I don't think it's overrated. I, I, but I just, I've had just as good, if not better meals over at a place Pat and I have eaten at together, Citrico's and Toledo. And both of them were significantly less expensive than, than California Grill. So that, that's, you know, the yeah, other thing that is great. Doing. Yeah, for sure. But even on that's par, that even on par for. with the, um, with that price and Citrico's has come up in price too. So now with California Grill at the prefix, uh, menu that no, they it's, have. it's back to a regular. I menu. think uh, yeah. we it's back no, after the fiftieth. They went back. The six of us ate there, it's, and it was like three hundred bucks for the six, like three something the, for the six of us at Citrico. Yeah, so yeah, I mean that's that, the pre. The prefix menu we is had drinks. back uh, again. It's yeah. just different, and mm-hmm. oh. I don't like. I don't like the whole idea. Now you now can I'll still like order. <laughs> yeah, you can order at the bar. You can order a la carte at the bar. Only at the bar because the lounge has now been converted uh, where it was a lounge before. That is now seating, regular seating. So the only place to order a la carte is at the bar. You get the old lounge menu now it says the bar menu. Um, so I don't disagree with Bobby oh. on California Grill yeah. because like there's less hmm. options and you have to get like I don't I'm not a dessert guy. So I have to pay you for dessert and I don't want to fucking have dessert. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah. then the Steakhouse 71 I haven't I eaten agree. there. But yeah. The anecdotes I've heard, I am 50-50 whether or not I'm going to book a reservation for there. I, I do want to find out for myself. Um, that that just sets an expectation I'm, level, though, that's a little bit different than what we had walking in the first time that Becky and I sure, ate there. Sure. It was significantly higher than we walked in. Having that kind of semi-poor experience and then coming back to it made the, the expectation a little bit lower. And I had a better time as a result, which... I, I think that's a dodgeball quote or mm. something like that. Like, you know, keep your expectations <laughs> low and you'll never be dissatisfied. But yeah. like, in all honesty, like managing those expectations to a degree is part of any sort of dining experience. And like I said, with, uh, with California grill in particular, but even with some of the other Disney res- uh, restaurants uh, that are out there, like, I don't even think I should ever try to eat Victorian Alberts because there's no way that it could ever surpass that bar that is being set with the price and everything like that. And yeah. all the reviews that seem to be so glowing. Yeah. Well, I, think no, I, I, was, I definitely go ahead. Sorry. No, I did have an expectation, but it's a, it was, you know, I was hoping it would be amazing. Like the other restaurant that I've had, right. Uh, that was right. similar, but my general and normal expectation of eating out anywhere that I am in any city, much less this location, was that there would be a competent server or someone who, even if they were new, was like it, attentive or like knowledgeable of anything or be able to find out an answer without being a bad Like it was, it, it, that's it was fine. not. But, it, but what was overrated was like they had this guy who had no idea what's happening, right? And nobody wants to rectify anything fine but like yeah my expectation on that yeah that's always high it doesn't matter where i'm eating out always that like i want someone who knows what they're doing i'm very flexible with how much i'm willing to give but like come on and that that Mm. lowered the entirety of the meal for me because even if my food was like just meh which it was it took forever (laughs) for no reason tables all around us getting their stuff like that's the problem Hmm. i had it wasn't the hype wasn't like the problem necessarily overall but like don't suck and then try to blame it on someone else if you have a yeah. bad day i get that's, it that's also fair but that's that's kind of where i was at with mine and i feel like that's not a issue with expecting too great of a steakhouse because i don't freaking like steakhouses they always fuck it up anyway so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pat what's your right, pat. Uh, what's your overrated <laughs> so i'm going with ohana uh, Ohana, $65 for a family. Uh, it's all you can eat, I guess. Uh, yep. You get chicken, mm. steak, chicken wings, noodles. Noodle. 
But for yeah. a family of four, if you have kids over twelve, I mean, sixty five dollars a a person. Kids over nine. I mean, they got now they're goddamn ten, ten and over. Ten and over. That's and that's over. insane. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's just to me, that's I mean, my just, ten year old can eat. That I won't. Much, I won't but... eat there. I I just won't eat there uh, ever, especially think... with. We can speak to like our our last episode uh, on the underrated. You can get the menu items, the big heavy hitter menu items at Tambu Lounge. Um, mm-hmm. So you want the sticky wings, you want the noodles. You can walk up and stand at the bar and just be like, "I want the I want the noodles." And so it's like, mm-hmm. why would I go sit in this restaurant, take up two hours with this family style meal, pay for my kid to have an adult portion, and they're not going to eat that much? Yeah, eat shit. And, and, yeah. And the service, I mean, hell, you you get a reservation at the place. I'm glad you said it, and I didn't have to because Polly's obviously my <laughs> my go to spot. Right. But like, right. you get a reservation there, you show up for your reservation, you're like, yeah, your table will be ready in 30 minutes, and you're like, what? What the fuck is the purpose of a reservation? <laughs> and right. and the the food isn't bad; it doesn't suck. Especially if you get a fireworks view during fireworks time, you're gonna enjoy the experience. It's overpriced and it's overhyped, and that's what the show is about. And I 100 percent agree with you on it, Pat. There's really no reason to go there between Kona Grill and Tambu Lounge. You can get the some of the top menu items at the Poly and not have to pay the extra money and don't have to be jerked around with reservation time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. He said it all for you. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's where I was. I, that's where I was going with it. I was gonna try to throw you. I was gonna be like, "Hey, surprise, motherfuckers! I'm gonna say Ohana." <laughs> Pat's like, just, "Hey, you know. payback's a bitch. Yeah. You chose his last time." Yeah, no, it, right. I, I did. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. I can I can throw out an honorable mention. Um, Cali Grill was on my list to to, to say. Um, but I will throw out an honorable mention. It's it's not terrible, and it, it's not super overhyped, but it used to be in one of my go-to spots, and it was great. And people still talk about it. Uh, Morimoto Asia at Disney Springs. Um, if you're into yeah. Japanese food and sushi, you're going to pay out the nose for this place. Um, and my first three or four experiences there were all awesome. My last two experiences there, the most recent ones, um, I paid the same price. I didn't get the same service. I didn't get the same level of food. I paid for uh, essentially, you know, what would cost me maybe $30, $40 at home was costing me $80 to $100 a person there. And it wasn't anything special. Um, So Morimoto Asia is on my shit list. One honorable mention for for me, and I realize that this is going to sound like it shouldn't be on this list, but I do think it deserves to be on this list. Rainforest Cafe. The reason why I say that is so many people go there. <laughs> yes, it's always crowded, and like yeah. I get it, sort of like the ambiance <laughs> of the place is fucking yeah. like the Jungle Cruise, basically, like but with shittier animatronics or, it, or whatever. But like you can go man, eat that shit in a mall in Minnesota. Why the hell you are you doing this? And like it's like same with like like Applebee's yeah. or something. You know? <clears throat> it's it's, it's not, not even that, that good quality. Yeah. Like yeah. it's really not <laughs> it's like. It's not better than Applebee's. Yeah, okay. it's, it's not. No, I've never been there. There's no reason. <laughs> well, Chili's no. is better than Applebee's. Let's let's be real about that. I don't know. <laughs> it's worse than TGI Fridays. I know that. Yeah. But yeah, I don't disagree with you, Bobby. But I, I mean, I, I think that's more of a um, place for people with little kids. They it, tell their it's kids a different the kind of rating. Yeah. A, a yeah. different kind of yeah. overrated. So if that's overrated, is, is the Diet T-Rex Cafe overrated? Yes. I, I would say same it's in shit. the same category. Yeah. It's, it's, the same it's literally the same. Aren't they all the same restaurant? Like, like, yeah, it's Landry's. Yeah, it's like Landry's. Five of them all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I know. One has dinosaurs, though. One has dinosaurs. It's Bobby likes. Dinosaurs, one has and dinosaurs are much cooler than, than gorillas. Don't get me wrong, but I think the dinosaurs don't really even move. In T Rex cafe, they don't. They do. They they're just all dead. They move. No, they do move just about as well as the dinosaurs on the dinosaur ride half the time. So uh, <laughs> it's about as good as that shit works. <laughs> but oh, shit. Either like here nor there, you should not be eating at the Rainforest so Cafe I. or T Rex. Yeah. So, 
Those are our overrated <laughs> table service <laughs> options at Walt Disney World. Let us know Aww. in the comments where you will never eat again or you just think simply is overrated. Maybe if somebody paid for your meal, you'd go there. Let us know down in the comments section below what you think. <laughs> if you like this video, hit us with the thumbs up icon. That really helps out our channel and YouTube's algorithms. And if you like us, consider subscribing. It's free to do so. And we really appreciate it. Uh, for everybody here at Not Club 33, We'll see you real soon.